In April of 2017, Microsoft revealed the specs for their much-anticipated new hardware, codenamed Project Scorpio. As someone who loves to play games with the best possible performance and graphical fidelity, I've been keeping an eye on the developments surrounding this new console. Furthermore, the Scorpio is slated for a late 2017 release, which is around the same time as Red Dead Redemption 2 is slated for release. So for me, an obvious question comes up. Will I need to buy a Scorpio in order to experience the best version of Red Dead Redemption 2? In order to answer this question, the first thing we need to do is take a look at the announced specs for the Scorpio. When comparing consoles, the most important factors are CPU, GPU, and RAM. So let's do that right now by looking at the two current gen consoles alongside their mid-generation upgraded versions. So the Xbox One S actually has a faster CPU than the PS4, clocking in at 1.75 GHz versus the PS4's 1.6 GHz. However, where the PS4 shines is in the GPU and RAM, where its 1.84 teraflops pretty much takes a dump on the Xbox One's 1.31 teraflops, and the 8 gigs of GDDR5 RAM is much faster than the Xbox One's 8 gigs of DDR3 RAM. Now let's look at those upgraded consoles. The PS4 Pro CPU and GPU are much improved in order to run games at resolutions higher than 1080p, clocking in at 2.1 GHz and a whopping 4.2 teraflops. But as impressive as that sounds, it's nothing compared to the Scorpio's announced specs, which clock in at 2.3 GHz for the CPU and an insane 6 teraflops in graphics processing power and a massive 12 gigs of GDDR5 RAM. Just how much is this beast going to cost? Well, we'll talk about that later. Now, this might be a lot of numbers to take in for someone who doesn't really follow console or PC specs super closely. So luckily for you, I'm gonna make this so simple, even a child will understand what a teraflop is by the end of this video. I've done a bunch of research and I intend to show you exactly what I think this will mean for not only Red Dead Redemption 2, but multi-platform games in general while running on the Scorpio. Of course, the easiest way to show this is with some gameplay footage. So let's start comparing Xbox One and PS4 gameplay, and then work ourselves up from there. Don't worry, I'll keep the specs on the screen at all times so you don't lose track. Here I have some footage from Watch Dogs 2 an open world game that I could see running pretty similarly on these platforms to a Rockstar open world game. As you can see, the PS4 version of the game absolutely manhandles the Xbox One version. Despite the Xbox One having a slightly faster CPU, the more important numbers here are the GPU and the RAM. With 1.31 teraflops of GPU power, the Xbox One renders Watch Dogs 2 at 900p while the more powerful PS4, with 1.84 teraflops of GPU power, is able to render the game at 1080p. While this is not always the case, from my personal experience playing games on both consoles, PS4 tends to have better performance than Xbox One the majority of the time, resulting in higher resolution gameplay and smoother frame rates as a result. I could list examples all day, but I think this Watch Dogs 2 example here does the trick just fine. Now let's jump to that next level with the PS4 Pro. The Pro blows its little brother out of the water when it comes to GPU power with a whopping 4.2 teraflops. This allows the Pro to play games at well over 1080p resolution and at the very best 4K resolution, which is also known as 2160p. So here's Watch Dogs 2 running on the Pro at 1800p. Despite touting 4K gameplay as a selling point, PS4 Pro actually doesn't reach true 4K resolution on many of its games, but instead is only able to produce in-between resolutions like 1440p or 1800p. While there are some games that are able to reach the 2160p full 4K resolution on the Pro, many of them are like remastered versions of a PS2 game or a PS3 game, or in some cases they actually have to give up some frame rate in order to reach that higher resolution. So let's make this even more simple. If the Xbox One is the 900p machine, PS4 is the 1080p machine, and PS4 Pro is the 1800p machine, what does that make the Scorpio? 
Well, let's look at some footage. Where the video game? Oh, wait. As of the making of this video, unfortunately, Microsoft hasn't released any footage of games running on the Scorpio hardware. I expect the first footage of games running on Scorpio to be released at E3 2017 in a month. But for now, we still have some good information to go off of and make some educated guesses with. Microsoft has said on the record that from the beginning, the Scorpio would be a true 4K gaming machine. And if you look at the specs, I tend to agree. If an increase from 1.84 teraflops to 4.2 teraflops is able to bring Watch Dogs 2 from 1080p all the way up to 1800p, I don't think it's all that unlikely that the whopping 6 teraflops of the Scorpio would be able to run Watch Dogs 2 at full 4K 2160p. In fact, Digital Foundry was shown a tech demo demonstrating just that. They were shown a Forza tech demo based on the Forza Motorsport 6 engine. It was able to run at 1080p and 60 frames a second on the original Xbox One hardware using 90% of that console's power. However, the same tech demo was then run on the Scorpio hardware, this time though at 4K and 60 frames a second. When tested on the Scorpio, it was only using a mere 60 to 70% of a Scorpio's full power. In other words, this thing sounds like it will be an absolute beast. According to Kevin Gamble, who is the group program director of the Xbox Core platform, the goal with Scorpio is to run any 900p or better titles on Xbox One on the Scorpio easily at full frame rate and at 4K. So I think that it's safe to say that if they reach that goal with the hardware they've built, a game like Watch Dogs 2 would probably run at 4K on the Scorpio. So finally, with all this information, what does it mean for Red Dead Redemption 2, which is coming out later this year? Well, simply put, Red Dead Redemption 2 on Scorpio is going to be the best version of the game. With this generation of consoles, we're looking at an interesting situation where a game has to be built to run on a certain, relatively weak machine, in this case the original Xbox One, but that very same game could also run on much more powerful machines like the PS4 Pro or the Scorpio. The last time we saw a situation like this, with console gaming at least, I think was in the N64 and PS1 and Dreamcast generation where you had the same game running on PS1 hardware looking like this, but you also had it running on the Dreamcast looking like this. I think we'll be looking at a pretty similar situation this holiday when comparing the same game running on Xbox One, PS4, PS4 Pro, and the Scorpio. The same game potentially running at four different resolutions and frame rates. So you can see why this could mean not only a lot for Red Dead Redemption 2, but really any other multi-platform games coming to these platforms. If Red Dead Redemption 2 runs on the Xbox One at 900p or higher, we could potentially be looking at a 4K version of the game running on the Scorpio this holiday as well. And that has me pretty excited right now. Dear God, it's beautiful. As someone who cares about getting the best graphical experience possible with my games, and has enough money to afford multiple consoles, I will definitely be buying a Scorpio if it means getting the best possible Red Dead experience. However, it is still fairly early in the pre-launch cycle for Scorpio, and this video is mostly just educated guesses on my part. Nothing is 100% confirmed until we see it in action on real hardware. And of course, we have to mention the price. Nothing's been confirmed yet, but Eurogamer estimated a $499 price tag on the Scorpio based on what they saw. Do you think that's an appropriate price tag for a true 4K gaming console? What if it cost more? Let me know in the comments if you'd be willing to pay $499 or more for the Scorpio. Either way, we should be getting an information blowout at E3 next month, including release date, price, and most importantly, full games running on the actual Scorpio hardware. God willing, 
We'll also get some new information on Red Dead Redemption 2, and maybe even some gameplay footage of it. Wow, it truly is the best time to be playing video games. So until next time, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe, because I have a ton of Red Dead Redemption and GTA 5 content planned, and I will be all over any big news coming out of E3, which is only a month away at this point. Thanks again for watching, and take care.